I did not have a rich father. Tried three times for university. All failed. I applied for Harvard for 10 times. All failed. They don't even want to see me. For the last time, I went to the teacher's college, which was considered the third or fourth class of my city. So I applied jobs for 30 times, got rejected. It was so difficult at that time. I was so frustrated because I taught in the university. My pay was $10 a month because I could not find a good job in 1994 discussed that I'm going to do something called internet and 23 of them against it they said this is a stupid idea we have never heard about internet and you know nothing about computer and I never thought I was smart nobody believed that I could be successful because everybody said well this guy think differently think crazily you know they think about something that never worked I tried to borrow 3,000 US dollars from the banks it took me three months but I still cannot get it. We talked to over 30 or 40 venture capitalists. Everybody said, no, forget it. A lot of people said, Alibaba is a terrible model. As I said, I believe it. I think this thing could be big. I never thought it would be that big like today. But I believe that something, something is waiting for me there. And I have to work hard to prove myself. That was the tough experience. So we gather 50,000 US dollars from 18 founders. We started. For the first three years, we did not have even one dollar revenue from our business. It was not easy. Why it keeps on going ahead, going forward? Because I received lots of email of thanks from the customer. They say, this is such a great thing. We cannot pay you, but this thing helped us. If you keep on helping us, one day you will be successful. And I believe this. Little by little, we build up our business. Little by little, we build up our ecosystem of the infrastructure. And now after 16 years, we have an Alibaba group, we have a Tmall group, we have a Taobao group, we have Alipay. And people said, you are so smart. How could you make a company like that? Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, the Jack Welch, Larry Page, Mark Zuckerberg. The difference between those people and other people, they are always optimistic for the future. They never complain. They always try to solve the problems of the others. When you are optimistic, it's always opportunity. People, same here today. Jack, where is the opportunity? I don't have a job. I don't have this. I don't have that. We are at the best time of this century. The best assets you have is that you are young. Don't complain. Let the other people complain. The opportunity lie always lies where people complain. Think about how you can make things different. Is there anything I can do that make the difference? And then when you think about this, start to do it. I saw a lot of people, young people, have fantastic ideas every evening. But in the morning, they go to the office same again. Being an entrepreneur, you have to do the things before the other people do. You have to wake up before the other people wake up. You have to be more brave than the others. Use the instinct. Everything you do is to the need of the customer. To everybody, to any person, tomorrow is new. Make the move, make the action. Whether investors believe in this or not, whether your friends believe it or not, whether your parents believe it or not, that's not important. You believe it, your team believe it, and work day and night on this. That's how the things happen. Make enough mistakes. You fall, you stand up. Any mistake is an income, is a wonderful revenue. Don't worry about the money. Money follow the people. People should.